Hi students, you are going to see very important and interesting chapter triangles. Chapter 6 triangles part 1. What I have studied in lower class, what is triangle? Triangle is a three sided polygon. That means three lines intersecting in three different points where you will get the three sides and the three angles. How many parts of a triangle you have? There are six parts that is three sides and the three angles. Lower class we might have studied about concurrent. What is concurrent? Just recall, two figures are said to be concurrent if they have the same shape and the same size. Two figures are said to be concurrent if they have same shape and the same size. In this chapter, we are going to study about those figures which have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. Two figures having the same shape and not necessarily the same size called similar figures. You see the difference between similar and concurrent. You see the figure two figures, the similar two figures shapes are same but size different. So they are called similar. Okay. Here you see the figures. The pentagon, both are pentagon, are having same shape and the same size. So they are called concurrent. You see the ball, two balls are having the same shape and the same size. So they are called concurrent. See the symbol of similar. Just you should write like this. And the concurrent, same similar symbol, then you have to add equal to. Okay, you already studied in. 9th standard clear so you have to remember always how to write the symbol for similar and concurrent okay now we will see similar figures in class 9 you have seen that all circles with the same radius are concurrent you see the picture radius 1 radius 2 having same radius two circles having same radius then they are called concurrent because shape and size of same say it has same size and same shape okay so all circles with the same radii that is very important all the circles with the same radii are concurrent same way all squares with the same side all squares with the same side lengths are concurrent okay side of the square should be same you see the picture three uh, squares are all having same side so these three uh, squares are concurrent then all equilateral triangles with the same side are concurrent. You see the equilateral triangle, both the equilateral triangle are same shape and same size. So they are concurrent. Okay. The two similar figures have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. Therefore, all circles are similar. All circles are similar. You see different uh, circles uh, having different radii. Having different radii. See that uh, four circles are having different radii. So they are similar. But shape is same. Circle. All circles having same shape. Okay. But different radii. So that it is similar. They are not concurrent here, similar. Same way, all squares are similar and all equilateral triangles are similar. 
you see the squares four squares all the four squares are similar they are having different sides they are having different sides same way triangle also you see equilateral triangle are all having the same shape but size different so they are similar they are called similar from the above we can say that all congruent figures are similar but the similar figures need not be congruent always you have to remember okay all the congruent figures are similar but the similar figures are need not be congruent okay so now we will do a small activity place a lighted bulb at a point o on the ceiling and directly below the table in your classroom you see the picture lamp you have to fix the light okay lighted bulb on the ceiling okay let us cut a polygon let us cut a polygon say the quadrilateral a b c d from a plain cardboard and place this cardboard parallel to the ground between the lighted bulb between the lighted bulb and the table table is there and lighted bulb between you have to keep it clear then a shadow of ab cd is cast on the table so mark the outline of this shadow as a dash b dash c dash and d dash see the picture okay note that the quadrilateral a dash b dash c dash d dash is the is an enlargement that is magnification of the quadrilateral a b c d this is because of the property of light that light propagates in a straight line you may also note that a dash lies on the ray o e b dash lies on the ray o b c dash lies on o c and d dash lies on o d thus quadrilateral a dash b dash c dash d dash and a b c d are of the same shape but of different sizes so quadrilateral a dash b dash c dash d dash is similar to quadrilateral a b c d okay so we can also say that quadrilateral a b c d is similar to quadrilateral a dash b dash c dash and d dash that is just vice versa clear both way you can tell a b c d is similar to a dash b dash c dash d dash or a dash b dash c dash similar to a b c d okay here you can also note that vertex a dash correspond to vertex e you just see the pictures a dash correspond to e same way b dash correspond to b c dash correspond to c and d dash correspond to d so symbolically these correspondence are represented as a dash to e b dash to b c dash to c and d dash to d so actually measuring the angles and the sides of two quadrilaterals may verify that angle a equal to angle a dash angle b equal to angle b dash angle c equal to angle c dash angle d equal to angle d dash and a b by a dash b dash is equal to b c by b dash c dash is equal to c d by c dash d dash equal to d a by d dash a dash that means they are proportional the sides are proportional okay proportional means in same ratio that means all the ab by a dash b dash equal to bc by b dash c dash equal to cd by c dash d dash equal to da by d dash 
a dash equal to some value that is constant that is you can say k or 1 by 2 or 3 by 5 okay any ratio but it should be proportion clear so two polygons of the same number of sides are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are in the same ratio that is proportion so always you have to remember two polygons of the same number of sides are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are in the same ratio okay so from the above you can easily see that quadrilaterals a b c d and p q r s of figure 6.5 are similar you see the diagram a b c d is a quadrilateral p q r s is p q r s is also quadrilateral okay all the sides are proportion all the sides are proportion you see two point a d and the p s you compare two point one centimeter four by four point two centimeter that means proportion how much you will get one by two here also you see a b by p q okay a b by p q one by two then b c by q r two point five Five, that is 1 by 2 CD by RS that is also 1 by 2 so all the ratio all the sides are having same ratio that is proportion then all the corresponding angles you see angle A correspond to angle P 105 degree angle B correspond to angle 100 Q that is 100 angle C correspond to angle R angle D correspond to angle S so all the angles are equal and all the sides are proportional so they are called similar quadrilaterals okay so a b c d is similar to p q r s so you can verify also if one polygon is similar to another polygon and the second polygon is similar to third polygon then the first polygon is similar to the third polygon clear in the ninth class also you studied l is parallel to m and m is parallel to n then l is parallel to n in the same way here also you can do you may note that the two quadrilateral a square and a rectangle okay you see the figure uh, 6 points is corresponding angles are equal but their corresponding sides are not in the same ratio the corresponding sides are not in the same ratio so they are not similar of course uh, it is uh, all angles are equal both are rectangle but you see the uh, side okay corresponding sides are not proportion so they are not similar now we'll see one more example also one square and a rhombus the square all angles are 90 degree but in the rhombus opposite angles are equal all angles are not equal so here only one condition is satisfied that is sides are proportion but all angles are not equal that means all the corresponding angles are not equal so that they are not similar okay in this two figure a b c d is not similar to p q r s understand so thus either of the above two conditions one and two of similarity of two polygons is not sufficient for them to be similar that means both conditions should be satisfied but here only one condition satisfied therefore they are not similar okay so now i will give some questions 
or homework. Do the homework for better practice. Okay.